um, and helped sell stuff and also helped bring other stuff in because the people, so for example, the enamel sign traders would come, um, you know, see the price that machines sold for. And if they come across one on their travels, they then know that, oh, yeah, I know where to sell that. And so it brought stuff in that we wouldn't otherwise have got, I think. Uh, we're doing it online. Obviously, there's a, a total worldwide audience for every auction, which might be good and bad, because it means you've got to compete against more people if you're buying. Uh, but it does mean you've got more people, more buyers, when you're a seller. So you can't have it both ways. Um, uh, Alan, I'll answer that in a minute, Alan. Um, yeah, so whether... So there might not be that need to kind of mix the auctions up um, subject-wise, if that makes sense. So I don't know. I might think about doing one month, we might just do machines. The next month, just do fairground stuff. The next month, just do advertising stuff and then repeat or something. Um, that might be worth trying. It might, in a way, get more interest if it's just an auction of one particular narrow subject might cause more interest in the marketplace. I'm not sure. Um, or we might just carry on having a mixed auction. Don't know, there's kind of pros and cons for both, I think. So I suppose the beauty of having a mixed auction is you've got the opportunity to, to sell your whatever it is every month, or buy whatever it is every month, rather than having to wait maybe three months for that for the slot machine auction to come around again, for example. So, we'll see, we'll probably keep the mix, I guess. Uh, Alan says, what if your item didn't sell at auction? Well, if it didn't sell, it didn't sell. It would still be here. Um, and either put it in again or take it home. Uh, same as before, really. Hopefully, you'd set a sensible reserve. You would have to think about reserves again, obviously, in auction, whereas with the cold con system, you, you've not needed to do reserves because you see what the offer comes in and then decide whether to sell it or not. Um, obviously, going back to auctions, then you're going to have to think about reserves um, again. But, yeah, the same as before. If it doesn't sell, put it in again or, or, or take it home. You can just be sensible with your reserves. Uh, Greg says, do you reckon bi-monthly auctions would be better to build up stock? Um, I'll just see what comes in, really. Um, I know this, there are, are people who have been holding back because they either don't like or don't quite understand the cold con system or didn't want to pay their £10 or whatever, and they've been waiting for proper auctions again. Um, so I think um, there will be more stuff coming in than we've had on, on the cold con thing that we've had. I don't know what the average has been. There's usually five to ten is the sort of machine work if we talk about machines per week. New ones go on. Sometimes there's only two or three. Sometimes there's been a dozen or fifteen. I'm guessing, I don't actually know to be quite honest, but I'm guessing it's perhaps five or six a week average has gone through. Um, so I put what, six on last week and there's four or five to go on next week. So yeah, we'll see you on that one. Uh, Pete says, I think a mix up sale of all lot types. Yes. I probably will. Uh, says, that's interesting answer. Paul says, also, I think mixed auctions. Yeah. So I think, um, the benefit of mixed auctions is your particular interest comes around more often. As much as you like to see an auction of 200 lots of machines, or 200 lots of fairground art, or 200 enamel signs, or whatever, the reality of getting that much stuff every month isn't going to happen. So you're going to be waiting three or four months at a time. Mixed 
ไม่ถูกเลยครับคุณได้ชิมสตางค์สังเกตุชิมคุณได้ออนไลน์สั่งอันบายนะเยี่ยมสักสักทีนี่มันเนาะbetter trying the auction first because you never know I mean, it takes two people to get carried away as we all know as we saw the other day in spices that stuff can go stratospheric so from Salah's point of view you're always better uh, putting it in auction uh, Alan also agrees with mixed auctions I think with um, with uh, Got the thumbs up for the mixed auctions in from everybody, pretty much. So that's fine. We'll go with that. Um, as to you know how many lots we get, I don't know. They're probably I said, the, because of pulling out the spares and coins and bits and bobs like that. There probably wouldn't be as many a time as we usually do at the Elephant House. Um, the amusement sales were what, probably, um, usually sort of between three and four hundred lots, I think, from memory. If you think maybe a hundred lots of that might be In during the sales, so it made sense to put the coins right at the end. So, you know, oh, I bought a machine on sixpences, I best buy some sixpences to go with it. So, by, so by pulling those out, pulling the spares out, it's probably the equivalent to 100 lots at the end of sales. So, 100 lots of sale, it'd be nice, wouldn't it? And again, no doubt to start with, um, it'll be a bit slow to take off. Um, we'll just see how we go. Again, I think once it's rolling, once people have bought stuff, um, then they'll be coming here to collect something they've bought and hopefully drop off something to sell for the next auction. Um, or perhaps if they're going to use the carry, going to use Alan again, he'll collect stuff from you at the same time as he delivers you or whatever you've bought because he's here backwards and forwards every two weeks, which is brilliant. Um, so again, that will work quite well because it saves you um, transport costs of doing two trips or two uh, carrier trips, as it were. I don't know what sort of a deal he does you. Um, I, I know we'll do you a bit of a deal if you're having stuff delivered and sending stuff back to me at the same time. Pete says, looking back at these pictures, just where are all these machines? That is a good question, actually, where are they all gone? If you look back at some of the Huntington catalogues, I've got a pile of my desk here to 